Let me shift to something else, and I would also add uh, the Democrats have their share of candidates that uh, some of the other Democrats might think uh, are rather embarrassing to have on the uh, ticket this year, Charlie Rangel being one name that comes to mind. But Ed Rollins, I want to ask you about this. I mean, it, it, quite frankly, and no offense to uh, Ed Gillespie, who I've been dealing with and <laughs> know to be a, a good guy for years and years and years, but he wouldn't be here if the chairman of the Republican Party currently, Michael Steele, was willing to go on television, but he's so immersed in controversy that he's he's kind of in a bunker these days. Are Republicans going to have to do something about Michael Steele? Well, there's no time. Uh, he's, he's, he's obviously been a disaster. You have three men on this show who have been, not me, but the other three, who have all been party chairmen and, and very distinguished party chairmen. Michael Steele has failed miserably to do the things you're supposed to do, raise money, basically go out and articulate a message. It's not going to matter, though. In 11 weeks from now, what he says or does in the next 11 weeks is not going to matter. What's going to matter is Ed Gillespie, Haley Barber, others have picked up the mantle and are raising the resources that we need.